Hey, so today we're going to set up hierarchical management using a HP IMC Enterprise as the mom or mother of managers, manager of managers, as well as an IMC Enterprise as the child. So we could have used standard as the child node, but I wanted EAPI and it's included in both and I have access, you know, 60 day trial, all that. So why? Why are we doing this? Well, so IMC maxes out at about 15,000 nodes, 400,000 pulled units per server or per distributed system. So your network might be really big. We might need to have a multiple of these, right? So that's one reason why. On the other hand, you might have a kind of loosely independent organization where you've got different groups that are responsible for different portions of the network, but you have one central group who needs visibility and control over everything and everybody. So that's another reason. And the, the last is you might have an unreliable wide area network. So if all your management is completely centralized, then as soon as the WAN goes down, you kind of lose your management, which is not a good thing. So let's take a look at setting this up. So here I am on the mother of managers node. And this is actually pretty simple to set up. We're going to go to the resource page and we're going to go just click on that. And that'll take us into this overview. And one of the, one of the things which is commonly left empty here is the um, snapshot of lower level NMS. So this is the child, right? So we're going to add lower level NMS. So you may think that you can just add this in, but this lower level NMS actually needs to be in IMC first, right? And I don't have that in there right now, so let's go and add that in. So we're going to go add device. We're going to put in the IP address of the lower level NMS, which in this case is um, 10.3.10.222. And then we can just go click the OK button. Um, you could put in the Telnet and all that kind of stuff if you wanted to. I've got my SNMP set up, so it's uh, public and private, very simple for the lab. So this will discover it. There we go, IMC 2014. And now we're going to go back to that resource page again. And now that the device, this, this child server, is successfully been discovered, we're going to be able to add that in. So add lower level NMS again. Select devices. We're going to go device view and go down to servers here. Um, it may end up in a virtual device if you've got VMware and this is running as a, as a VM. So it really depends on... Um, on where the device is. And the last thing we need to do is make sure we have the login name and password correct, right? And the login port as well. So if you have, have installed in a non-default standard um, way, right, then you're gonna have to adjust those things. But this is, you know, in my case, complete standard install. So admin with password of admin, um, HTTP port 8080. If you wanted to do encrypted, which is good, you could have done 8443, right? Just make sure that that's, you know, both sides match. So now, awesome. It's now been added as a lower child node. Now we have the ability to log in. We can launch topologies. We can look at the custom views, right? All that good stuff. So let's click on the login button here. And this is actually going to pop open a new browser window. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see 10.3.10.222, right? So it looks the same, consistent experience and all that. But suddenly, I have a lot more modules. So in my case, this is a child node that's actually running with uh, a bunch of the the data center more focused applications available. Right, so one of the last things we're going to need to do here is actually set up the hierarchical alarming because that's not done by default. You may not want that to happen. Right, so we're going to go over to alarm, alarm settings, and hierarchical IMC alarming. And enable alarming, upper level IMC, that's the mom, the mother of managers or manager of managers lower level IP, take the default for 162. So this is all being done through SNMP trap forwarding. And then you have the ability to filter out based on interested devices or interested alarms, right? We're not going to worry about that right now. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have now successfully set these two systems up to be able to share information and alarms and all is good. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.